uh, uh, Dr. Anish Shinde would like to present this uh, presentation. It's an automation uh, kind. Uh, so, start off. To resolve your insurance questions, but uh, I can help you to solve your internal problems, and I can help you to solve what your prop team is facing right now. As someone told that uh, insurer want uh, document to be submitted in two days or seven days, uh, and sometimes you may get the query that I didn't receive the document, and you people may not be knowing whether your team has submitted really submitted the document or not. So today I'm here to discuss how simple tools can be utilized to bring more efficiency in your team. And I'm not here to talk about artificial intelligence or machine learning. I'm going to tell you how you can use your internal tools or simple Google tools to optimize your all insurance process. You should remember sometimes the best solution is the simplest one. As many of you know, your team is using already a variety of tools like Gmail, Spreadsheet, Google Form, and these all form, uh, including your Excel sheet, these form the real backbone of your team's productivity. And today I'm going to show you how you can use these tools to automate your insurance process. So whenever your team submits a document, so you can ask him to just acknowledge one whenever he submits the document, just upload the acknowledgement copy in a simple Google Sheet. Uh, once you the person enters the details, your details will be recorded in your Google Sheet. So once the person upload the acknowledgement copy of a submitted document, the uh, details will be get recorded. Here you will be able to know when your person has submitted because timestamp will collect the exact time when the person has uh, uploaded the copy and your acknowledgement copy is get recorded, uh, saved in your Google Drive. So let me show you the interesting part. So whenever you get a call or mail from the insurance company that I didn't receive the document from you, so you can just simply check the number, claim number, you can add your claim number and your claim document along with acknowledgement will be reflected here. And you just have to send the mail. And the same thing, if you want to send a hard copy, just download it. Uh, internet is not very really good. Uh, so you can simply download and it will come i think there is some problem this 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 particular area of the hall uh, okay. is very okay. poor on it so you can easily download that copy and even from the same sheet you can send a mail and or even whatsapp the only point is you have to you need to have all the contact details of your insurance department the team will get uh, the sheet will auto retrace all the uh, email IDs, whatever you have uh, recorded in your know, uh, Excel sheet, and it will send not just a mail, even a WhatsApp message to the Spock of respective insurance company or TPA. Uh, so this is one thing where it will solve your uh, problem of document submission. So it will make your team accountable to submit the claim on time. And when you get the mail from the insurer, saying that we didn't receive, you have the proof that when you have submitted with the acknowledgement copy. And in fact, in the same mail, you can send the hard soft copy of the same document because obviously uh, it's not the problem from insurer side also. Sometimes there is a chance that you may have uploaded or sent two, three documents together. So there is a chance that uh, two claims are getting tagged or processed single time. So there is not a problem from insurance side, but when you have the soft copy with you, you can easily send through the same mail, you can uh, same sheet, you can send the uh, 
acknowledgement copy to insurance companies. Uh, let me show you the second thing, what you can do it. So this is a sheet of your outstanding, where you have all the settled, non-settled cases, and every uh, all the claims get recorded only in single sheet. And now the challenge for your team is to segregate the outstanding claim for each and every insurance company and send it to them. So what he will do? He will first filter out the claims, then he's uh, uh, sorry, filter out the insurance company, then he filter out the uh, status, whether it is process, non-process. What you can do, because we have almost more than 20 plus insurance provider plus TPAs with each hospital dealing with. And sending a mail to each and every insurance companies is not that easy. So what you can do, so these all tools are interconnected, this Google Sheet, Google Form, and uh, Gmail. So I'm running one formula. Anil. Anil. Okay, so I have run only one script. And what has happened? Sheet is like this. But you have sent mail to all the insurance company with the attachment, PDF attachment of their only outstanding claims, not settled. So the sheet will uh, filter out only the outstanding claims and it will send a mail to them with the details. So now, your team can save the time in sending a mail. So he just had to waste only five minutes to send a mail to, not even five minutes, in fact, two minutes to send a mail, filter out the claims and send mail it to all at once. So like this, there are so many other process which you can do using the combination of these tools, uh, Gmail or Google form. And Other forms like, uh, not forms, uh, other application like link to window. So it will help you, your team to getting distracted because almost as per toolbox, they are three hours per day, your team is wasting due to just distraction. And that you can avoid by linking his phone or, or hospital operation phone with the link to window. So this tool will help him from distracting and doing all this activity, whether it is a mail, a Gmail or anything, a WhatsApp, from his uh, simple tool. So I would like to show so many other tools, but uh, because of time strengthening, I would like to stop here. Yeah, thank you.